Hawthorne. Get your program. Get your hot program. Final home game ever at the Kingdom. The Seahawks, the Miami Dolphins. The decade of decline is over. The Seahawks are in postseason play. No matter how we got here, this is where we want to be. Do or die, and I ain't dying today, I tell you. Turn it on, Jay, turn it on. Go, baby, let's go. Attack on three, the one, two, three. Let's go. For the first time since the 1988 season, the Seahawks were in the playoffs, and they were determined to make their presence felt. Hell of a series. Nice start now. Nice start. Head coach Mike Holmgren wasted no time applying the scalpel to Miami's defense. From the nine, getting a back to throw, looking, throwing, touchdown, Seattle! Second drive of the ball game. They move right down the field and score. When the Dolphins tied the game at 10, Seattle took Miami on a wild ride through Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Charlie Rogers on the move, fumbles it, picks it up, drops it, picks it up at the 15, runs ahead to the 20, up the sidelines to the 30, to the 40, deep by the kicker, he's going to go all the way! Touchdown, Seattle! You have just seen the best and worst of a rookie. <laughs> The NFL's leading punt returner had put Seattle in the driver's seat. But the football gods had destined this day for Dan Marino's last hurrah. Late in the fourth quarter, the future Hall of Famer staged one final rally. Despite dominating the game for 55 minutes, the Seahawks were left with their most bitter defeat of the season. But no reversal of fortune could diminish the scope of Seattle's football renaissance. After a decade in pro football's wilderness, the Seahawks found a leader and a new attitude. hungry for victory joined Mike Holmgren's crusade to resurrect a football town. In the Kingdom's final season, a division that had always seemed to belong to others finally became theirs. It was conquered by a team on the rise and the coach who led them to the prize. From the moment he assumed command of the Seattle Seahawks, Mike Holmgren infused the franchise with a sense of purpose. That will to win took center stage in the Seahawks' first road game against the up-and-coming Chicago Bears. While the offense struggled, Seattle's bend-but-don't-break defense broke Chicago's will. They give it to Enos, fumbles the ball, it's loose down in the end zone, John Spring scrambling for it, yes! With starting quarterback John Kitna sidelined by injury, Holmgren called on backup Glenn Foley to erase the 13-point deficit. He dropped the throw, looking, firing, caught by Mays at the 15 to the 10. Touchdown, Seattle! Derek Mays goes 34 yards for the score, and the Hawks are back in the game. Foley directed the winning touchdown to former Bear Fabian Bones. Going long, got a man open, caught at the 20 to the 10. Touchdown, Seattle! While Foley became the first of many role players to make a difference, 
The rest of the gang was plotting an Iron City heist. The scene of the crime, Three Rivers Stadium. The victim, the unbeaten Pittsburgh Steelers. Stewart backpedaling with pressure, fires underneath, intercepted! The ball's deflected away at the 20, down to the 10, down to the 5, touchdown Seattle! Wanted, a secondary that swiped five passes and a return man that ripped off the steel curtain. Shoots by a man to the 20, up the sidelines to the 30, to the 40, he's only got one man to beat! He's hit at the 45, press the midfield, cuts across the field, Rodgers may go all the way, to the 20, to the 10, touchdown Seattle! 93-yard return by Charlie Rodgers! The Blue Bandits escaped Pittsburgh with a resounding victory. Authorities believe their ultimate target was the Western Division title. One week later, the Seahawks returned home for a Sunday night showdown with the Oakland Raiders. Happy combine for the King Dome, baby! Hey, let's do it! Let's fly around! Let's get a victory! Dominate Oakland! One, two, three, go! After spotting Oakland a 14-3 lead, Seattle came storming back. Looking left, firing over the middle, caught! Touchdown, Seattle, back man! Well, that was some fun, Nolan. Great job of getting across his face. <laughs> With the King Dome on its feet, Kitna suckered the Raiders for a second score. Fires back wide open, caught at the 15. Down to the 10, Richie Brown, touchdown! Todd Peterson, who set a team record for points in the season, completed the comeback with a go-ahead field goal. What a great comeback by Mike Holmgren's heroes. This is as emotional a game as the Seahawks have had in eight or nine years here in the Kingdom. What a performance. By the end of October, the Seahawks had grasped Mike Holmgren's offense and were itching to lay some hot licks on the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> It took the maestro and his men only five plays to orchestrate a score. Getting a three-step drop to throw to the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle! And the Hawks come out with anger in their eyes and go right down the field and score. The crowd wanted an encore. We got him, we got him, we got him! And John Kitna delivered. Good protection going down the seam. Caught by Derek Mays. Touchdown, Seattle! Derek Mays tosses the football into the stands to the fans. John Kipna is dynamite. The defense unloaded some explosives of its own. Doug Flutie was intercepted twice as the Seahawks earned their fourth victory of the season. During the summer, the Seahawks mourned the passing of defensive coordinator Fritz Sherman. The team honored his memory with the ultimate tribute, tough defense. It started in the pit with a trio of bruisers named LaBounty, Daniels, and Parker. Opposing runners rarely saw daylight with 297-pound Sam Adams eclipsing their running lanes. No way they can block it, no way. You can't stop me going up the field. Mike Holmgren's first draft pick, Lamar King, enjoyed a solid rookie campaign, while Michael Sinclair never quit until the whistle blew. Cortez Kennedy earned his eighth trip to the Pro Bowl and gained new stature as the league's heavyweight pass thief. Rookie, rookie, what I got, Tez has another pick. The second wave of attack started with Chad Brown, who once again wreaked havoc for opposing offenses and led the team in tackles for the third straight season. Chad Brown came a calling and he pounded him. Anthony Simmons and number 59 Darren Smith made their share of big plays as well. 
with hard hitters like safety Kerry Joseph, opposing quarterbacks courted disaster when throwing into the jaws of Seattle secondary. Darrell Williams and Merton Hanks foiled receivers all season long, while Pro Bowl cornerback Sean Springs, along with Willie Williams and Jay Bellamy, helped the Seahawks register a league-high 30 interceptions. It was a defense tailor-made for prime time. Blitz comes, throws, intercepted, Willie Williams! And they flourished in the spotlight on Monday Night Football. The game marked Holmgren's return to Green Bay, and his team was determined to win one for the coach. They think it's Holmgren. It's the Hawks, 99, baby. Let's dominate for four quarters. All of the game. Let's go, dominate on three. One, two, three, dominate! Green Bay threatened to score early, but Sean Springs turned to Packer Trey into a Seattle six. Picked up by Sean Springs. Sean Springs comes up with a deflected field goal attempt that goes the length of the field and scores. Springs opened the floodgates, and a big blue wave swallowed the Packers. Steps up, gets hit, fumbles the ball. It's loose, and the Hawks have recovered. Up to the sideline goes Sinclair. From the shotgun, pump fakes over the middle, comes back to the sidelines, intercepted! Picked off by Willie Williams. Here comes pressure, Clark looks at throws, intercepted! Picked off by Sean Springs. The Seahawks tallied five interceptions, and Ricky Waters thundered down the Pats' throat for 125 yards. America watched in stunned disbelief as Holmgren and the Hawks rolled to their most satisfying victory of the season. Kittner goes to the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle! That was a great win against a great football team. And feel good about it. Congratulations. Uh, it was just really <coughs> wonderful. Really wonderful. Yes, sir. Can I say something? Yeah. I know we're not supposed to give out any more game balls, <laughs> but I know you're saying this is just another step, but this is a big game for you, yes, Coach. Sir! Mike Holmgren's offense is all about rhythm and timing, and the Seahawks follow the tempo of band leader John Kittner. Pump fake short, going long, wide open, touchdown, Seattle! In his first season as a starting quarterback, the Northwest's native son fired 23 touchdowns and led Seattle's march to the playoffs. This is Kittner, the throw goes to the back of the end zone, caught! His favorite target was Derek Mays. Despite joining the team in August, Mays immediately became Kitna's weapon of choice near the end zone. Firing over the middle, caught! Man, he was open from here to Tacoma. Sean Dawkins made possession receiving a performance art. He would wrestle the ball from a defensive back, straddle the sideline with a stutter step, wage tug of war for a score, and grab a quick six for kicks. They want to throw, go into the end zone! Mike Pritchard was a dangerous third receiver, while tight end Christian Fourier would do almost anything for a catch. Itula Mealy rounded out a Cracker Jack receiving core. The aerial circus depended on the strong men up front, Warriors named Bladorn, Beatty, Gray, Glover, Habib, Williams, and Pete Kendall mauled the opposition, while number 71, Walter Jones, became the first Pro Bowl offensive lineman in team history. Together, they blasted holes for speedster Amon Green, but Seattle's running game was primarily a raging river of Ricky Waters. Waters ran for more than 1,200 yards and eclipsed the millennium mark for the fifth consecutive season. More importantly, he provided veteran leadership for a team that was still learning how to win. Waters whipped the Seahawks into a frenzy for a November safari through the Cincinnati defense. Ricky Waters, round the corner, 15 to the 10, touchdown, Seattle! 
but the afternoon belonged to John Kipner, who might as well have been playing flag ball in Microsoft's corporate league. The Central Washington alum threw three touchdowns en route to Seattle's sixth victory. Kipna is still so excited. I hope he's this way when he's a 10-year veteran. Kitna's enthusiasm would be needed when the Seahawks sought to end a six-game losing streak to the Denver Broncos. Kitna to throw, looks and fires over the middle, touchdown, Seattle, Derek Mays on a post pattern. While the offense thundered to a 10 to nothing lead, the defense battered the Broncos into submission. Yet the world champs wouldn't roll over, charging back to take the lead. Hey, sure, Shawnee. Ran off. You got gas and now. Kitna didn't wait to attack, welcoming Joey Galloway back to the lineup with a pair of screamers. But the winning touchdown was directed to Sean Dawkins. Kick back to throw, looking left, firing, caught, Dawkins, touchdown, Seattle! Denver's streak was over, but the Seahawks faced a more imposing albatross in Kansas City, where they had managed only one win since 1980. Showtime right here, baby! Attack on three! One, two, three! Attack! These Seahawks were determined to exorcise their demons and surprise the Chiefs with an ambush at Arrowhead. Here comes the blitz, getting with a screen cut by Waters at the 20. Gets a block to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Seattle! Yeah! Ricky Waters ran wild, ringing up two quick touchdowns as Seattle grabbed a 17-13 lead. But the fireworks were just beginning. Kitna to throw, looks and fires on a slant, caught by Dawkins at the 30, runs to the 20, to the 10, touchdown, Seattle! Dawkins had put Seattle firmly in front, and Waters soon left Kansas City in the dust. There he goes, 50, 45 to the 40, cuts it the field to the 30, down to the 20, to the 10, and knocked down at the 5! Three plays later, he brought the arrowhead jinx to an end. Ricky Waters storms into the end zone, and the Seahawks are going to storm to their eighth victory of the season. What's over, man? The streak is over! Oh, yeah! By Thanksgiving, the Seahawks stood alone atop the AFC West. But by late December, a four-game tailspin had brought them back to earth. Their year-long pursuit of a division championship now depended on one game, a Kingdome showdown with the Kansas City Chiefs. Everybody wants them now. Program, you gotta have a program. They done wrote us off already, baby. We lost four in a row. It's the last thing for the Kingdome, baby. We're gonna win this thing. We're gonna win the AFC West. The Kingdome's day of reckoning had arrived, and the stakes couldn't have been higher. Yet, in their biggest battle of the season, the Seahawks would not fight alone. Field conditions louder than a Boeing triple seven, the Chiefs were bludgeoned into submission. Kitna went right after one of football's premier defenses. Hawks are up by three. Kitna to throw. Look at deep down to the five. Touchdown, Seattle! The Chiefs were on their heels, and the Seahawks were just warming up. We just need to keep pouring it on, man. So we can have one more game and it's done. Kitna to throw. Looking right, looking right. Goes to the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle! The Seahawks had seized a 17 to nothing lead. 
But the Chiefs rallied within striking distance. 15 minutes to win this thing now. You got to keep playing hard. Y'all need some noise! Y'all need some noise! Yet in their hour of need, the Seahawks got a little help from their 12th man. Confounded by crowd noise, Kansas City's comeback collapsed. Skurback backpedaling to throw, fires over the middle, balls intercepted. Gonna throw for the end zone, goes deep down the sidelines, intercepted. Picked off by Springs at the 30, cuts to a tackle down to the 20, to the 15, to the 10. The defense held firm, and the Seahawks would eventually claim a division championship. But more importantly, they'd learned, like players before them, that it takes 12 to make a team. The Seahawks fans gave a whole new meaning to the word home field advantage. And you didn't let the team down today. You made the difference today. Thank you very much. And so a team and a town said goodbye to a quarter century of memories. Roll the switch. But every end is also a beginning. And for the Seattle Seahawks, a bright dawn lies ahead. Getting on a throw, looks at fires on a slant, caught by Dawkins at the 30, runs to the 20, to the 10, touchdown Seattle! For 24 years, the Seahawks have carried the Northwest's banner. Now, on the brink of their silver season, Seattle's moment of opportunity has arrived. They've recaptured the imagination of their fans and conquered the heights of the Western Division. Now they've got higher peaks to climb. In the second campaign of Holmgren's Heroes. Deep drop to throw. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up. Goes to the end zone. Firing catch. 